tracked. Okay, okay, come on. Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. It's very interesting when you play with action, you know, and, and, and explosions and hundreds of dinosaurs. I mean, that's great, but then there is a moment that it's very interesting when you go more claustrophobic and tighter and you start to build up the tension in a very different way, like shot by shot, designing very carefully every camera movement. How many can you save? Eleven species. Blue is the last of her kind. You'll never capture her. We thought you might know someone who could help. A rescue op? What could go wrong? Chris all the time will give you new ideas and from take to take he will change everything which I love because I think I, I like these kind of unpredictable actors that they just fight every take to do it better and better uh, and, and Rice is such an extraordinary actress and he's so professional it's kind of like fun that somehow they resemble a little bit their characters you know uh, Claire always wants to be so good at everything that she does and I think Rice is the same and you can and you can tell if I don't make it back remember you're the one who made me come here I'll be all right I feel very lucky to have the chance of working with new actors like Daniela Pineda or Justice Smith and they're so good and such a joy to work with uh, look of course, they feel the excitement of what is to be in a in a big movie like this one, you know. And you can tell that when you're working with them, the the level of compromise, uh, the, the the hard work that they do every day on set, take after take, it's uh, it's amazing, you know. <laughs> Animatronics are very helpful, especially for the actors, because they help a lot, the actor. The, the actor, it's always for the actor important to have something real in front so they can interact in a more organic way. Hey, Blue, you know me. Come with me. You know you can't stay here. Back your man up right now. The secret behind uh, the work that we did in uh, Fallen Kingdom was to merge both technologies, to cheat the eye of the audience so there is a moment that they don't know what they're watching, if that what they're watching is real or not. And that is the goal. When you create something that looks 100% real and you cannot tell if, if it's animatronic or CGI.